All right, welcome. I'm Matt Bautel, and I'd just like to take a couple minutes and do some midterm review here. Uh, and basically, I would say that, that we have come a long way uh, in this course uh, since since our coffee counter, right? Uh, coffee counter looked pretty and all, uh, and, it, and it had some, some neat little functions and everything. Uh, but where where are we right now, right? What kind of apps could we be writing? All right, so if we were to take you know most of what we've learned in these first few weeks, and put it together, uh, we could come up with quotes like our, our little movie quotes app here. Uh, and you know, it, this, this, this app right here uh, shows movie quotes. Uh, so the first couple are, are actually for my kids here. So uh, first one's for Elliot. So I don't think he knows about second breakfast, Pip, all right, which we know is, is from Mary in, uh, in the Fellowship of the Ring, if we have any token fans out there. Uh, second one here is, is for Elise. So uh, of course he isn't safe, but he's good. He's the king, I tell you, which I believe was, was Mrs. Beaver. Uh, and the Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe. Uh, and I have a couple more here. Uh, so so let's let's run this app and, and see what we get. Uh, so the app allows us to add new quotes. So if I hit Add, uh, notice that that was a menu item. Uh, then I, it brings up a little dialogue here, uh, custom dialogue, uh, and it's going to be asking us to, to enter in some things. So, um, so let's see, what do we want to do here? So for Caleb, uh, We'll do my precious uh, from, and that right there is is from Return of the King. Uh, I don't do Gollum's voice uh, justice at all. This is for Caleb because he can actually do uh, Gollum's voice amazingly well. Uh, let's add in a couple more here. Uh, so, so what are we gonna put? Uh, let's see, um, I have one for Jonathan. Uh, so, I am. I can't even do Vader. I am your father, Luke. Right. Uh, so that one right there is from The Empire uh, Strikes Back. So you can tell we are Star Wars fans. And what else might we, we have here? Um, let's see, we'll give one for Anna here. Uh, so it has to be something from, from Frozen, right? So i um, not even going to try to to sing uh, like Elsa here. The cold never bothered me anyway. All right. Uh, and this guy, of course, is is Frozen. Uh, all right, great. So as we're adding, um, as we're adding quotes in here, um, they're they're showing up. Um, no surprise that that what we're that we've used uh, menus and dialogues to do that, and that we have our, ourselves an adapter. All right, that's that's running through and displaying everything. We have some custom views here uh, within this. Um, what else happens here? So let's let's talk about some of the views. So so if we if we click on this guy, uh, it'll ask you know are you sure you want to delete the quote. Right, so again, we're getting a confirmation dialog. All right, so we do want to cancel or delete. Um, you know, I'm going to cancel up for now. Um, let's see. Let's let's delete. I don't know. Let's. Sorry, Anna. We're gonna we're gonna delete Frozen from here. Uh, we could always bring it back at some point, but let's go ahead and delete that. Uh, and it, and it goes away. Uh, what else? What else can we do? So if we do a long press on this right here, so long press, then it brings up our, our contextual action bar. Um, this guy is is set up for for a list view. Um, so a little bit beyond what we've done, but but combining uh, combining our, our our action bar uh, with list views, uh, we can do, and we can select multiple ones, and it even counts how many we've selected here. We could select all four. Uh, we could you know we could unselect a couple. Um, we could hit display, and then it brings up a new screen. So of course it's doing this with uh, with an intent. Uh, it didn't do anything format on um, anything exciting for formatting on this guy. Uh, but you can see just that that it brings up a new screen. Let's go back, and we're back here. Uh, we could click OK, and then we could add uh, we could add Frozen back in here. So never bothered me anyway. All right, and we click OK. All right, very good. So so uh, you very much should be at the point where you can write an app um, just like this, right? Just just putting together a lot of things. Uh, let's let's bring it back to um, to a slide that we saw during our, our first introduction here. So lots of things that we can do with Android. Uh, let's sort of confirm where we're at. So we have spent uh, a lot of our time really hanging out in the UI here, right? So uh, doing our work with with buttons uh, right off the bat, uh, and then we returned, uh, did stuff with with menus and dialogues. Um, I have didn't mention adapters on here or fragments, but those are certainly again sort of parts of of the UI. Um, you know things that we could do there. We spent a bunch of time in in one of our units uh, dealing with the app lifecycle, uh, and and specifically uh, communicating between activities, launching activities, using intents and extras, uh, everything there. 
Uh, and then uh, that's, that's basically where we're at. The second half of the course is going to kind of shift gear to talk about storage. So we'll be having units on SQLite, right? Um, and you know, how do we store you know, bigger amounts of data there? Uh, you know, cloud services, so certainly we are going to be storing a lot of data uh, in the cloud. Uh, so we'll be using Google Endpoints for that. Um, and then I'm going to fill in with, with some little things. Um, I, I intend to, to do a, a short lesson on, on notifications. Um, you've done stuff with gestures here. Um, all this other stuff um, is really going to depend on the project that you choose to do, right? So hopefully through going through these first lessons, uh, you kind of have your, your, your feet under you. Uh, you'll be ready to, to do some exploration, right, on, on your own uh, to see what you need for your app, right? And I'm, I'm fully expecting uh, that, that you can do this and that you will do this for your project because, uh, because to, to do some interesting things, uh, you're just going to need to, right? So um, that's, that's part of the fun, right? Uh, sort of coming out for things from, from two directions. One is sort of let's get some foundations under it. Two, we have a goal. We have this cool app, which is why we're starting our term project so soon. Uh, and you know we moved kind of in this direction for a lot of the way, but it's very soon going to be time for for you to start coming at it from from being driven uh, by your project to learn some new things. So, very good. That's all we got for you for now. So, uh, you know, have a great time. Hope you're enjoying the course so far, and uh, and we'll see you next time. All right, bye.